what if I did my hair like this? Does that look kind of weird? Kind of. Ugh. Hey guys, it's Sanem and today I'm doing a Q&A. It's my first ever Q&A here on YouTube and I'm answering your questions that you asked me on Instagram. So I asked you guys to just send me a bunch of questions to get to know me and I'll answer some basic questions and then also some questions um, that you guys asked as well. Whilst doing this look, so I do do a makeup tutorial as I'm answering your questions and it's this beautiful matte peachy soft look so i hope you guys really like it so without further ado let's just jump straight into this q a slash makeup tutorial now that i have my cute little bow headband on and i'm ready to do my makeup and answer your questions so i asked you guys on my instagram if you're not following me then do follow me so i'm just going to jump right into it i'm actually not going to start off with primer because i'm not going anywhere and I'm stuck indoors. So I'm actually gonna start off with just moisturizer. And what I'm gonna use today is Clinique's Moisture Surge, 72 hour moisturizer. I've been absolutely loving this. So now that it is all done, I'm gonna go into foundation and I'm gonna jump straight into the questions. I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. This is new to me, I've never tried this foundation out before. And I have the shade 0 0.2, which is for very fair skin tones with a warm peach undertone. I'm using the Beaky Sponge, which I used in my full face of makeup under $10. This was included in it um and i freaking love this sponge so i'm gonna use this oh, this is a good color for once right let's get into it so firstly let me answer some basic questions where am i from so i live in the uk specifically london but for my background i'm actually turkish cypriot so a lot of people think i'm latina and i absolutely love that people think that um because i'm heavily invested in latin culture and kind of tell sometimes when people think i'm hispanic but no i'm not so i'm from cyprus and I'm from the Turkish side of Cyprus. So there are two sides of Cyprus. It's an island, it's a country, and there is a Greek side and a Turkish side, and I'm from the Turkish side. How old am I? And a lot of people are gonna be shocked because a lot of people think I am older. I think it's maybe my personality. I come across more mature or more, I don't know, maybe I just speak in a way where I seem like I sound older but I'm actually 23. So I turned 23 on October the 6th. That is my birthday. I'm a Libra. If there's any Libras out there, comment down below and let me know. I'm going into concealer and I've actually not used this one yet. And this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. A lot of hydrating products today. So this one is in light sand. Oh my God, that's a little too dark. Wow. I really thought light sand was going to be good for me. So I'm going through the questions and the next question is how tall are you? So you're not going to believe this, right? I'm actually 4 foot 11. I'm so tiny. It's kind of embarrassing. Maybe I'm 5 foot, I don't know. But last time I checked, I was 4 foot 11. So yes, actually this concealer is really nice, but the shade is off. I just need to get a lighter shade and I'll be good to go. This one I definitely like more than the original camo concealer. Next question is, how did you get into makeup? And whilst I answer that, I'm gonna go into the Laura Mercier translucent powder before my concealer starts creasing. We don't want that. How did I get into makeup? So I got into makeup by watching YouTube videos and I got into makeup when I was about 12 or 13 years old. I just, I remember sitting in my room and watching YouTube videos day to night. I was watching the most OG YouTubers you can think of. People like Emily Noel, um, Michelle Phan, who else was there? I mean, I'm talking all the OG YouTubers, you know? People that probably don't even exist anymore, I'm not even sure. When it was my time to head off to college, I needed to decide what I actually wanted to do. And so I was kind of heavily invested in makeup whilst I was in secondary school. But when I had to decide what I wanted to do in college, I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's any makeup courses. So I looked into colleges that did makeup courses and I found one 
and so I studied uh, makeup and hair at college, specifically TV makeup and media makeup. So it was more kind of theatrical and more professional makeup rather than just like basic makeup. So I went straight into like the deep end of doing professional photography makeup, TV makeup, and then it progressed to doing like special effects, which is where I get my experience from doing special effects makeup as well. Another question I got was why I left Mac. So if you guys don't know, I used to work at Mac. I worked at Mac for a year and a half and I left because of management, as you do with any retail job, it usually is because of management, right? And I loved working at Mac. It got to a point where the managers I was working with just was like bullies. They were bullies. I'm just gonna go straight to the point. They were real bullies and they, I'm sure they know it and they don't care, right? So. They would bully me, specifically this one manager, which one day I would like to talk about in a separate video, like a why I left Mac sort of video. But for now, I'll just give you the basics. I left because of management and also because it was becoming a more pushy place to just sell rather than actually do makeup on people and just let out your creativity it wasn't that place anymore it was more about who can sell this foundation what's your target how much money you can make in a day and i just didn't want that environment it was a very pushy sales environment and it's kind of funny because speaking about mac i'm actually going into some mac eyeshadow so i created this little six pan palette and i'm gonna go into the neutral shades today i'm starting off with teta tint and this is a matte light brown and this is gonna go in my crease as a transition shade. I think if I had better management, I probably still would have been there um, by now. Ooh, next question is how many tattoos and piercings do I have? So I have six piercings and three tattoos. So I, yes, want to get more piercings. I actually booked a conch piercing and then that got canceled because of coronavirus and as for my tattoos i have a tattoo of some mountains i have new york city and i also have my dog those are my free tattoos next i'm going into this mac eyeshadow called orb and i'm almost going to do kind of like a cut crease or just a matte eyeshadow look today actually i'm going to keep everything sort of matte so this is just going on the lid next question is what made me start a youtube channel easy answer it ties back into when i was 12 13 years old i've been watching youtube videos since then started my youtube channel in 2014 i think six years ago now now i just want to do it myself because i think it's such a fun platform to share all your interests with the rest of the world okay so the next question is what do i do for a living and before i answer that i'm going to go in with my next shade the next shade i'm going into is brown script this is like an og mac eyeshadow color and this one is just going to go on the lower portion of the crease and believe it or not that is the look i'm keeping it super matte and super simple so what was the question um what do i do for a living so this one's a bit complicated. Ever since I left Tom Ford and Mac, I have been doing YouTube. Does it pay me to live full time? No, it doesn't. But I live at home with my parents still. I'm not ready to move out. And so that's why uh, my parents pay for everything. And I'm just blessed for them to pay for that. And I don't have to pay for rent or for bills. So I basically just do YouTube videos and get paid from that on the side until maybe one day it will become a full-time career for me. For my mascara, I'm going into the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara. Shoot, I forgot to do eyeliner. I'm going into my MAC, MAC again, Dip Down Fluid Line. This is a brown gel eyeliner by MAC. I absolutely love this. You can even use it on the brows as well this is like my new go-to look for whenever we can leave the house i'm gonna be doing this look brown eyeliner with this really nice just matte peachy brown eye oh love 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 look at that amazing have you had a near-death experience i have actually i really have so this Near-death experience happened in LA when I was in LA for my 21st birthday. We was 
going to the airport. So we was literally leaving LA to go back home. And guess what happened? We was in the Uber going back to the airport and we was on the highway and the Uber was going so fast. I mean, so fast, probably over the speed limit. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. He didn't realize that there was a car in front that was that had stopped. And so he was just speeding and he didn't notice the car. And I mean, it was a second away from our Uber like crashing into this car. So just imagine like this car has stopped on the highway and then our Uber's just going shh, like that until he realized that that car stopped and he just managed to brake really hard. And I mean like the bumper of the car was just touching. If he didn't brake in time, we would have crashed into that car. And I cannot, it doesn't sound scary, but I cannot tell you how close we was to having a really, really, really um, bad, car crash still love you la but yeah that was crazy the next question is what are the best places that you've traveled to and why so i'm just applying a little bit of those browns on the lower lash line i think the best place that i've been to of course new york because i have it tattooed on me but apart from new york because that one's a very basic oh wait but they asked why well i love new york because it's just the most craziest fun city i think the like how beautiful the city is it has so many amazing views and just the buildings and everything like that brooklyn bridge is my favorite because i have it tattooed on me and um the people i think new yorkers are so cool i'm taking the urban decay beached bronzer in sunkist what's your favorite makeup brand mac do you want to get married I do want to get married. That's definitely one of my dreams. I feel like that's every girl's dream is to just have like the perfect wedding, right? And to get married. And being a Libra, we are very like hopeless romantics. Is that the right word? We love the most like cliche, cheesiest things you can think of. Um, yeah, I love it. I love things like that. And yeah, I definitely want to get married. I'm using the Bare Minerals Loose Blusher today. This one is in Vintage Peach. Look how pretty that is. Next question is, what is my favorite movie? This one is a weird one, okay? It's not a weird one, but it's a very like unusual one to say that it's your favorite. I'm going into the MAC Beaming Blush Highlighter. If you haven't seen this highlighter before, it's basically like a pink gold. So my favorite movie, I think of all time, I think I can finally say it, but it's actually Holes. I don't know why. I just think I could, I could watch that movie a hundred times. I just freaking love it. Trust me, it is such a good movie. I love it so much. I can never stop watching it. Apart from that, I love Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is amazing. I think I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Matte Lipstick today in August, which looks like that. I hope it's not gonna be too pink because I want this look to be more peachy. It is too pink biggest achievement so far my biggest achievement so far my biggest achievement so far has to be winning first place doing a special effects competition in college to even think i was first place out of two other whole years including my year i did a phoenix bird and i did the hair like up in flames it was orange i did a prosthetic beak i just did this amazing look and i'm just forever like i don't know it just means so much to me to have one first place for that i'm using the kylie cosmetics matte liquid lipstick another kylie product in apricot this is exactly what i was looking for I'm finishing off the makeup with the MAC Cherry Blossom Fix Plus. This is from the Petal Power Collection and I did a video on it. So I'm just gonna spray my face. 
with this and it smells amazing. So that was me answering you guys' questions. I hope that helps you get to know me a little bit more. I have a lot of content coming and I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm gonna let you guys go now and I will see you all in my next video. So stay safe and keep busy during this tough time that the world is going through. So that is it from me and until next time, I will see you guys all in my next video.